first thing I'm going to be doing is applying foundation and no, for the first time in a while I'm not going to be using BB cream. I'm going to be using a regular foundation and then blending it out with a wet sponge. Once I've done that I'm going to take my hands and I'm just going to press that on my skin and what this does is if you have little streaks left behind from using a foundation brush or the edge of the makeup sponge sometimes you get a very obvious line where the edge of the sponge is. By just dabbing your fingers all over your face it helps diffuse that and you get a much more realistic effect left on the skin. Now after that I'm going to stick a fake tentacle that I made onto my eye and I'm going to be using lash glue for this. You can also use adhesive but personally I prefer using lash glue around the eyes. I will have a tutorial for this on my second channel that will be going up next week so if you want to know how I made that you can go to my second channel. After it's been stuck down I'm going to be using some scar wax, sorry not scar wax, sculpt gel around the edges to cover them up filling in my brows and then applying a metallic primer. Now because this primer has got a really nice shine I'm going to be using it on the lid and I'm also going to be using it as a highlighter so down the bridge of the nose and then in a C shape just underneath the arch of the brows and then at the tops of the cheeks. I'm also going to contour underneath the cheekbones and then down along the jawline as well. Next I'm going to be using two different colours, a beautiful metallic plum and then a very lovely mint green. First thing I'm going to be doing is taking that plum and applying it all over the lid with my fingers and then blending out the edges with a brush. Now for the green, this is where things are going to get interesting. The first thing I'm going to do is apply that as a highlight just down the centre of the lid and then blend that out. But then we're also going to be using that as a highlight on the face and it looks beautiful. We're applying it in the inner corner of the eye, especially on the lower lid and also on the cheekbones but more just underneath the lower lid so just where the light's going to catch that you're going to get a really lovely metallic green shine and we're going to go a little bit further and start adding that also just underneath the brow bone and then above the arch of your brows and blend that up into the skin and when you move you're going to get this really pretty mint green flash now for the lips I'm going to be using a green lipstick which admittedly is about as creamy as a wax candle but it's the only green lipstick I have to hand so that's what I'm going to be using and I'm going to take that same mint green highlighter and applying that on the cupid's bow and then on the centre of the lips. Now that the sculpt gel has dried I'm going to be covering the edges just to make it look a little more like it's actually burst out of your face. So I'm going to be using a red colour around the tentacle and then some fake bud. Now you also want to cover up the very end of the tentacle because obviously this is the first thing that's going to be coming out of your eyeball so that part has to be covered in blood and then maybe drag a few drips of that blood down the side of your face before you're going to start adding a little more texture onto your forehead. I'm going to be using a stencil for this but you can absolutely draw it by hand if that's what you prefer. I'm also going to bring that up into the wig just so that it blends into the hairline a little bit better. And then I'm going to be taking a gold and that's just going to go right down the centre of your forehead and then also a little bit just along the cheekbones as well. You want to do a slight dusting of that. It's not going to be too intense, it's just got to be this really light application. And then if you want to make that pattern stand out a little more, take a dark green and outline them. Now on the outer corner of the eye I'm going to be using some black eyeshadow and just aligning that as close to the lashes as possible. You're going to wing it out and then connect that to the lower lid as well. For a final finishing touch I'm going to be using some false lashes and these are just demi lashes so you're going to apply that on the very outer corner of the eye and that's probably where you're going to need to go back and then maybe line the eye again just so that that lash line isn't visible. You're going to want to scrunch up the hair because this is a sea witch, she has to look fabulously messy. And then that's it, you're done.